Introducing the world's first wireless headphones with ribbon array technology, self-amplified. The SE1 dual ribbon array driver headphones. Let's discuss. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. These things are absolutely massive. And when I first put them on my head and I looked in the mirror, I gotta admit, it looked a bit ridiculous. But that being said, even though these are massive, these are by far the biggest headphones that I've ever owned and put on my head, they are also by far the most comfortable that I've ever put on. And that's because of this design. aren't your standard looking headphones. Now these headphones do have quite a bit of heft to them over your standard headphones, you know, your Sony's, your Apple, your Sennheiser's, but they don't feel heavy on my head. And again, that has to do with the design and how they've designed this top part here. I don't even know what you call these, but they've got like these little, almost like these little flaps that sit on your head and there is no strain at all. Now I haven't done like extensive testing with these. I haven't used these for like hours upon hours. So I don't know how it's going to feel, you know, when you're, when you're into like a two, three hour session of listening to music, but I can tell you right now, there's absolutely no, fa no fatigue. They're super comfortable. The only thing I'll say about the design is it doesn't, it doesn't cut my ears as much as some other ones. So you might get a little bit of ambient noise coming in from the outside, but I'm perfectly fine with that because I've worn headphones that are, I mean, after 20, 30 minutes, it, it's, it's pretty exhausting. And you know, the, the, the headphone cups are so tight that it starts to, it just starts to get fatiguing. These, I don't believe you can adjust them. I've looked to see if I can adjust, you know, like some of your normal headphones, you can adjust uh, how, you know, to fit your head. I haven't really seen a way to do that, but you know, so this might not be, these might not fit everybody's head size. I don't know what the official head size is, if it's even listed on the, you know, on the webpage, but yeah, they're pretty comfortable. And I won't say that they're the best sounding headphones that I've ever used, but they're pretty good especially when you use high quality music, you know, lossless music, like something like the Cobuzz app, you can go into Cobuzz. If you don't know what Cobuzz is, it's a high quality streaming app where you can basically stream any C CD that I can think of in existence. I mean, there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of albums, artists on there, and you can choose what type of streaming quality that you want to use. So, you know, I've been using Cobuzz. I've been listening to some of my favorite artists like Linkin Park, Stain, Low Pro, Life on Planet Nine, Breaking Benjamin, Chevelle, stuff like that. Now it does come with this very nice carrying case. It feels like silk almost on the outside of it, the material, but it comes in this very nice carrying case and then it comes with even a bag and I believe it has some accessories in here too. Yeah, so you get your you get your USB-C charging cable, and then you have an auxiliary cable that you can plug directly into. If you want to plug this into these into a computer or plug directly into a phone or MP MP3 player, so you have that, and then it comes with a little manual as well. But it's a really nice headphones. I'm really glad that I got them. Again, <laughs> they look a little bit ridiculous just because they're so big, but don't let that deter you from trying these out. Now, I probably wouldn't wear these out and about like if I'm on a bus or something like that in public just because they're so massive. You might get some pretty weird looks, but you know, just sitting at home and using the headphones or if you're on a road trip or I'd probably maybe take these on a plane. Just depends on the size of your suitcase because you're going to have to pack them, you know, in this in this case and the case is going to take up a substantial amount of space in your in your briefcase or in your suitcase. So, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that most people that are gonna be using these are probably gonna use these like at home if they're sitting in their you know, office or library where you just wanna casually listen to some music for a couple hours or if you're laying in bed or something like that. I don't really see these as being like your main, like let me travel with these. Obviously you wouldn't wear these at the gym, at least I wouldn't. But yeah, I think for just leisurely listening to music, casually listening to music at home, like I said, if you wanna use the Koba's app, if you wanna use, you know, Apple Music, whatever your streaming app is of choice, Amazon Music, you know, I really do like what they're doing with these. I, in the future iteration, maybe I'd like to see a, a much smaller compact headphones that just aren't so massive. But, you know, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these. I don't know. I don't have much experience with headphones. I do love music. So the only times I really listen to headphones, which is a lot, is at work. And obviously I wouldn't bring these to work because they're just, again, they're just too big. But I want to know down in the comments, what size headphones do you have? What is the technology behind your headphones? Why do you love your headphones? You know, before this, I was using Sennheiser headphones. And then, you know, I upgraded to Apple AirPods. And then I recently I've been using just like a cheap $50 Sony headphones. I have to say those sound the best, but they get pretty fatiguing after a while, pretty much after 30, 30 minutes to an hour. Again, these are super comfortable. And yeah, I like them and check them out on the website and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.